the world's population is expected to be hitting more than 9 billion by 2050 as projected by the World Bank. And to feed these masses means producing more food within the same fixed land space on which our ancestors had lived and farmed on for centuries and passed on to generations over the decades. Efficient agriculture production methods will therefore be needed if humans will still want to survive on crops as we have done for centuries. In view of this, the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana, PFAG, with funding from Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA, is implementing a project in Ghana which is aimed at encouraging good farming practices through the usage of agroecological farming and gathering evidences to support its usage. PFAG is looking to increase the income of small-scale farmers and also save the world from climate change by championing a system which has been with the human generation for centuries, which is agroecological farming. Farming community, especially those in northern Ghana, are still living in extreme poverty. This development is a source of worry to Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana and as part of its mandate to ensure life of dignity for the smallholder farmers. The association working with its partners, such as African Climate Change Adaptation Initiative of University of Ghana, Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, and Center for No-Till Agriculture, are thinking of means to sustain smallholder productivity without necessarily destroying the environment. We have collaborated with Akai, University of Ghana, to conduct a baseline survey amongst farmers or to conduct research amongst farmers. There were five objectives that we looked at and our objectives were one, to understand the socio-economic um, environment of the farmers, that's one. To, uh, secondly, to identify farmers past and uh, current farming practices and how that was being influenced by climate change. And thirdly, to document their indigenous practices. I mean, farmers already had their practices in place. So it's to find out what practices they were, they were using. The project seeks to also train farmers on climate resilience through promotion of agroecology farming practices. And this was carried out by Center for No-Till Agriculture, of which over 400 farmer leaders were trained in nine districts in three regions of Ghana. Agroecological farming is all about the practices and techniques of sustainable farming. And in here, we see a combination of traditional knowledge, farmer's experience, and then the science of agroecological principles applied to the food systems. Pizan Farmers Association have been organizing training sessions and we have been supporting with knowledge. In terms of showing the evidence, and the Pizan Farmers Association arranges to get farmers to experience agroecological farming. These farmers were equipped with very sustainable farming methods that are eco-friendly, beekeeping, livestock production, and many other supplementary farming strategies. But I don't know how we be a man in the baby. I was say, eh, it's me, ye be a Saturday night, da, and an animal dot to Hosana, Proca, if you be Proca, or Dugu Hosana, who be a dinner, it's me, ye come, fertilizing me, and the name and an animal in the And then so you have to say, you know, I to watch me. Made a peace man's farmers for Ada, I see. There has been advocacy for preservation and usage of traditional seeds in farming. This PFAG has been doing over the years with the help of their implementing partner, Seacord. So seed goes beyond just feeding. And therefore we want to promote that our traditional seeds should not be killed and replaced with so-called improved seeds. And so we've been working with the farmers and in fact, farmers over the years have been producing, selecting, 
reserving their own seats and sharing it among themselves. And this is a system we want to promote, we want to support. In a bid to influence government's decision on seed and seed usage, PFAG, with support from its donors and implementing partners, organized a peaceful march on the 28th of May 2018 to present a petition to the President of the Republic of Ghana. The Present Farmers Association of Ghana and the Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, SICO, appeal to His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufu Ado to use your high offices as the first citizen of Ghana and a staunch advocate for development aid to reflect and redirect the current approach of agricultural investment, especially the over-reliant on inorganic fertilizer and consider the promotion of agroecology farming concept. Agroecology now turns into a movement. There are, it's not just about farmers seeing the need for it. But the civil society, almost everybody now, a lot of people who are concerned about food security and human beings living in an environmentally friendly conditions are advocating for agroecological farming. Admittedly, PFAG cannot achieve this campaign without the support of the government. Hence, PFAG collaborated with the Ministry of Food and Agriculture by providing them with policy recommendations. And they also collaborated with them, especially some members out within the district, to assess inputs that are being given us as part of the implementation of planting for food and jobs. So I can say that there is a fruitful collaboration between the directorate and the ministry as a whole and that of the present farmers association. We are very excited as Grand local Agency partnering with peace and farmers to um, work to help each other. We will do all the analysis and come out with our forecast, seasonal forecast, but it's not for us. It's for the farmers, the public, the community at large. Upon all the strides made over the years, there are still certain militating factors that are affecting the propagation of agroecological farming. There are three threats to our food security and poverty campaign. And these are climate change, urbanization, and population growth. All this area you are seeing used to be farmlands. There were farmers across the place. And today, all those lands have been taken for commercial activities. As farmers are planting and they are weeding, they are also putting blocks on the farms. So the moment they finish taking their produce, they will chase them away and the place will be used for building commercial uh, infrastructure like hospitals, schools, residences and what have you. Agriculture is started as every nation's backbone and the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana aims at making farming attractive and to producing very safe and fertilizer-free crops that will be safe for consumption, which will eventually make the working force of Ghana healthy, thereby increasing productivity.